Hi guys, um, today I'm going to show you the most feared uh, tool uh, inside the Photoshop. So grab some snacks and enjoy. But before we start, let's roll the intro. <laughs> You can have it if you want it. It's gratis, it's for free. There ain't no strings attached, no, there ain't no catch. Take my love, take my love, take me. Welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to try to introduce you to um, Pen Tool. Don't freak out, it's going to be quite easy and I will show you uh, in some examples so let's jump into the Photoshop let's start with the examples and then we will go to, uh, to practice uh, practice area so I will show you uh, how to cut out the subject from the background here we have uh, only mm, only background so let me grab this layer and drop this into this uh, this project okay so we have we have some okay we have oh, sorry. let's try to uh, align oh. This is the, the perfect alignment. Uh, what I like to do is to duplicate the, the background layer, put this on top of everything, and we will have this this image. Uh, now, first, we want to cut out our product, and to to do this, uh, there are several ways to to achieve this um, this goal. Uh, but to effectively add selection to your uh, to your image and to be precise, the best uh, option is to use pen tool. I know that a lot of you are afraid of uh, of a pen tool, but we will try to do this uh, very easily and. I will try to make this uh, digestible. So let's zoom in, and I will show you what I like to do with this with this tool. So I try to go inside the the area that I will crop, uh, not on the exact edge, but a couple of pixels, some pixels inside the. Mm, the uh, the area that I will choose to choose to uh, select. So let's go right here and maybe move this like this. Okay, this is the first first step and first problem that we we uh, we will see. Because I'm doing this with the pencil, uh, the shape that I'm starting to add makes this uh, extra layer with the shape, which will fill uh, automatically. So what we can do to see beneath the, this uh, this layer, if we lose the layer, we will lose track of these points so we can drop the opacity to see beneath our selection this is quite nice way to, to do this but what I like to do is to let's erase this uh, this layer I like to highlight the layer below the one that I'm using to, to cut and this makes the effect that when we have this shape layer beneath our image that we will actually cut 
so as you can see everything stays below below this point so I can choose to select this and freely make my my points as you can see uh, sometimes it's it's tricky but it's very very uh, intuitive I will say if I can uh, the second thing is when you make a contact point you have this uh, arms or I, will, I like to, to call them hinges and if you pull this lever to the side our line will bend and this is this is the mm, the moment when you can bend this line as you like and if you leave them right here the next line will go from this point towards towards the this line and then starts to uh, bend over where you put your uh, your points so to avoid this to happen you need to lose this one uh, just like this and then you will no longer have this influence of this uh, this hinge this this um, I don't know, handle uh, to your next next line so um, to uh, let's go back to erase this you can uh, uh, hit alt or option and you will see that this uh, this pencil will will have this upside down V side uh, beside them uh, beside it and if you click on this point you will lose this this hint but the the technicals will will come later I will show you why we have this selection made now uh, we uh, right click it on this make selection and uh, I, I like to make this feather radius about 1.8 1 .8 or 2 pixels uh, and uh, we have only option to set new selection so we hit ok this is the selection but we want to get rid of this uh, this part so let's zoom in and we will do this uh, once again so we have this selection right here with this feather uh, and now we will go to, to this place uh, okay Fast forward to straight to the end result.
so uh, going to this this place when we have this uh, whole uh, selection just uh, finished double uh, right click sorry right click make selection and then the same settings but we can subtract from selection so we can add this as a subtraction of the selection and now I will just turn this off highlight this background copy layer and hit layer mask voila we will lose all all the places that, the places that we just uh, we just cut uh, cut up so this layer will go cut out mask and this is this is true and this is even not uh, not needed so this is the basics and we will have this nicely cut out uh, oh some artifact uh, nicely cut out um, object so uh, the next question is how to start how to uh, get used to this tool how to know all those different keys and and shortcuts like the alt and the option will allow me to uh, uh, manipulate this um, uh, handle how to know that this the spacebar will make possible to move our points in this section the that is great question and I have the perfect answer uh, for that so if you go to uh, bezier.method.ac you will uh, uh, go to place where you can play with uh, this uh, this tool and to practice I will drop the, the link uh, down below in this comment section uh, in the meantime uh, let's just look what you have uh, what you have to um, to do in this uh, Bezier game so you have several tasks to do uh, for example you have to uh, just find this, uh, this point and click on this and uh, it will allow you to uh, to do whole uh, image uh, it will just uh, give you a hint when you need to go with straight line if you put yeah, put uh, shift it will go straight in this this direction okay Pick. yes shift and click it shift and click it shift and click it shift and click it and this is very very easy now you have these handles right now to uh, make the curvature so it will ask you to go from here if you go in the wrong direction it will just don't allow you to make any any move so you can do uh, command Z to undo and try to hit this point hit this point and to make this even possible okay something like around this you can hit here and here and voila you just go with this uh, hints how to make this uh, this possible. 
so you go right there try to mimic this uh, this point and then move this handle right here and you can see that the the game itself helps you to understand how it's really done you can hit old option make this right there and if you if you just go randomly it will uh, it will do only this lower uh, curvature but if you hit this point bang it will add this curvature of this uh, this handle so you can achieve your goals and so on and so forth there is plenty of uh, different shape and shapes and uh, tasks to to do to practice and to learn how this tool will uh, will work for you so if you do this game uh, I believe if you do basic five uh, five images it will be uh, plenty plenty of information to start to mess around with this tool inside the Photoshop and to make your own selections and and to understand this tool because if you understand the the mechanic of of this tool you will win tremendously because you can apply this to so many things to uh, make custom shapes to make brushes to make uh, selection in uh, terms of uh, cutting the um, product photography to make selection to uh, master your uh, retouch techniques uh, and many many more so uh, I hope this tutorial help you even this much to understand how easy is to make your make the level of your uh, of your game inside the Photoshop uh, up to the roof and if you manage to mm, if you manage to go through this uh, Bezier game and to manipulate with uh, with pencil inside the Photoshop, literally the sky is the limit. So, uh, hope you guys like it. Uh, if you like this video, please hit the like button. Sorry for this environment. Sorry for the fan uh, spinning so hard. It's literally, literally. Uh, 35 degrees Celsius in here, so it's it's very very hot. Um, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. This is the subscribe button. Hit this button. Uh, check this bell icon to make sure that you will uh, receive a notification every time I upload the video. And if you like to if you like me to uh, cover some mm, some other tools uh, in Photoshop or uh, some workflows or uh, you have any question uh, any questions about Photoshop or Lightroom or even uh, I don't know Illustrator just leave the comment down below and I will try to, my best to, to answer it and to make video that you will uh, ask for. So this is it for now. Uh, I will see you in the next video. Bye.